Hi, I'm Mrs. Sherry. I am the marker for your paper. The paper that you set was the Mid-Year Examination 2021 Secondary 2 G3 English Language Paper 1 Section 8, which is Editing. Now, uh, today the focus is to uh, go through the common errors as well as the answer key. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's go. First, you need to carefully read the text below consisting of 12 lines about healthy eating. The first and the last lines are correct. For 8 of the lines, there is one grammatical error in each line. There are 2 more lines with uh, no errors. If there is no error in a line, put a tick in the space provided. If the line is incorrect, uh, circle the incorrect word and write the correct word in the space provided. So. Uh, there are uh, candidates who underline errors instead of circling the errors. So I deducted one mark for it. Uh, the correct word you provide must not change the original meaning of the sentence. Uh, later, I'll go through uh, what are some of the uh, inaccurate uh, words that uh, students wrote. Okay. Uh, other problems include uh, candidates who did not in answers. Uh, I will deduct one mark for that. Um, and uh, candidate uh, underlined errors. Instead of circling, I deducted one mark. Candidate wrote two word answers. Okay, the correct word tells you that it's only one word. Okay, so um, candidates who did that, I also, uh, I mean, automatically, um, you're not given mark for that. Okay. Let's uh, continue. So the first line, uh, whether it is the biscuit you're eating while standing in the kitchen waiting for is accurate. So uh, the second line, let's take a look. The kettle to boil or the muffin you buy while walking past a bakery unplanned. This line, uh, automatically uh, you should pick out a buy as the error circle buy and it should be bought. It's a tense error because you bought the muffin much earlier. That is why it should be in past tense. Uh, the is not a genuine error. Okay, uh, mistakes uh, that students wrote were uh and that. Okay, uh, it's the because um, it's a particular uh, muffin that you bought much earlier. Okay, uh, some students picked out while they went and while. Um, can be used interchangeably in this context, so it is not an error. Uh, one common error that uh, students picked out was uh, past, and uh, students wrote P-A-S-S, past, and uh, P-A-S-S is actually a verb. Uh, P-A-S-T, past, is a preposition. Okay, uh, next line. Uh, unplanned eating happens to all of us. Uh, students who wrote happened, uh, as the answer is inaccurate because uh, this is a factual text, so this should be in simple present tense. Uh, next slide. However, if you are trying to maintain a healthy weight or improve the way you eat, okay, if you picked out you are uh, as the error, uh, this is inaccurate. First of all, uh, in uh, editing text, there is no punctuation mistake. Uh, secondly, you, you wrote um, you are, there is two words, so that would be impossible, okay, uh, to be the correct answer. Unplanned eating, uh, eating can get in a way of that goal. A uh, is the error, please circle that. Uh, this is an article error, the correct answer should be the way, get in the way of uh, that goal. Uh, if you change uh, that to this, uh, that is a uh, inaccurate as well because that is uh, not a genuine error. The next sentence, unplanned eating is rarely motivated with hunger. Okay, so uh, this uh, uh, phrase is uh, in passive voice, okay, and um, it is motivated by hunger uh, because by indicates who is doing the action. Uh, with is inaccurate, okay? Uh, this is uh, a preposition error. Some students wrote motivational and uh, picked out motivated as an error. Okay, so motivated is not a genuine error. That is uh, inaccurate. 
Okay, next. Uh, it usually happens when you're thinking about something else. Uh, when you eat without. So, uh, in this line, it is uh, accurate. Uh, so, students will change when to while. Uh, well, uh, there is no mistake here. Okay. Uh, so, when you are when you eat without uh, thinking, you rare make the best choices. So, rare make. A rare is the um, error, so circle that. And uh, it should be an adverb, rarely. Okay, an adverb. So, you add an, an ly, rarely. Okay, to this uh, word rare. Okay, why is it an adverb? Because rarely modifies the verb make. Okay. And if you succumb often, then your diet is uh, not as good as it can be. So, um, mistakes that a student pick out here is a uh, uh, diet. They change it to a diet thing. And diet is not a genuine error. Okay. Uh, they picked out can. They change it to should. If you change can to should, you are changing the word entirely. Okay. You change uh, can to could, thinking that it's a tense error. Nope. Uh, it's not a tense error. If you change uh, be to become, thinking that be is the error that is... Uh, changing the word entirely that is not uh, accurate okay uh, worst still uh, you are likely to be overeating so uh, the error here is worst uh, because uh, uh, this w o r s t is a superlative uh, the correct word should be a comparative so if you recall bad worst worst so how they spell words, W-O-R-S-E. There are students who wrote worser, okay? There's no such word. Uh, okay, continue. And put yourself at risk of uh, gaining weight. Uh, so, um, I explained first, why is it uh, putting? Because the ING form so, uh, shows um, the progressive aspect of um, something. And... Uh, Progressive aspect uh, means something is uh, will, will happen, uh, okay, uh, it's going to happen, uh, will be happening. So that uh, answer should be putting yourself at risk of uh, gaining weight because uh, that is a possibility of that happening. So it's a progressive aspect of, of uh, gaining weight. Uh, students replacing, uh, you're changing the word entirely. Okay, placing and putting, okay, and it's a, a two different words. Uh, if you write puts, that means you could have thought uh, that it is a uh, subject verb agreement error that is inaccurate. Okay, to counteract unplanned eating, try keeping a food diary for a couple of a week. So, uh, a couple of tells you that uh, a week, should be in plural form so the answer is weeks adding an s to it uh, recording everything you eat bring your food choices to the forefront of your mind so recording everything you eat is a singular subject so uh, for subject verb agreement singular subject singular verb singular verb should be brings okay uh, student who wrote bringing uh, thinking that is uh, uh, an ing form uh, that is uh, inaccurate students will change uh, it to uh, eight thinking that is uh, that is the error that is inaccurate as well and the last line making you more aware and more likely to make better choices is accurate so uh, this is the uh, video explanation of um, the um, editing I hope that you are more clear uh, you, have, you have a clearer picture about uh, what editing is as well as the uh, common errors in this particular paper thank you